Hey guys, Rare Extreme here. Just thought I'd actually get to the side LP here and uh, really get started with what's going on here. So we're going into the uh, PS2 here with a Capcom game, otherwise known as, yes, the Mega Man X Collection. Luckily, I got, uh, actually got some stuff to repa restore my disc to make this work. So let's go ahead and dive into this here. And as you guys saw on my list, I did have that actually recorded already. Uh, so, here we have the first six Mega Man X games. Uh, all in order as well, so, you know, X1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then this is the other one here, which, what, when you defeat, when you beat all six games, you actually unlock this here. And, uh, I won't spoil that. But when we get to it, we'll get to it. But, anyways, let's go ahead and start with Mega Man X 1. And uh, get the party started here. Sorry if I sound so quiet. It's because it's you know 11:15 at night, and my parents are actually sleeping. So, I've gotta kind of keep it down for the most part. Yeah, you guys have seen the opening before. I'm just gonna dive right into the game. Uh, nostalgia, of course. Now, of course, everybody and their mom has played this game. So, I mean. Now that I actually have the X collection, I've wanted to do this for a long time to do it on Super Nintendo emulation, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't do it that way, so we're going with the, the better route, which is the PS2, you know, with the PS2 route. Now if you have any questions about if you getting like Mega Man X8 or X7, um, I have been keeping an eye out for those games, but those are a little bit harder to find. I am a, I definitely am a rare game hunter, so you know, those are definitely games that I would want to be looking for, for sure. Oh, that was brilliant. Um, but yeah, um, I keep my eye for X, uh, X7 and X8, because I've never played those two games. Now, I wouldn't do like a PC release, because my laptop is just total crap, so I can't play, I can't definitely do that at all. Otherwise, I would definitely do uh, X7 and X8, as much as I hate to hear the ear bleeding that is uh, playing high in art in X7, and then the near impossibility of uh, you know, X8, just how difficult the game is. I mean, I've seen Ace Spark play it, I've seen the Great Clement play it, um, really the Great Clement play it, and just how much hell it is. I've been test playing all six games just to refresh my memory on how the game works or how the games do play again. So, of course, this isn't going to be a perfect run, but you know, if you play this game enough, you'll you'll you know you'll get the hang of it again. I should have used that to ride into the area. Oh well. Don't need. Come on, chip. Hit me. Hit me. Thank you. Come on, keep hitting me. There's a reason I'm doing this. Come on. God, these guys take so, give you so little damage, even with no armor. Alright, two more hits and I'll destroy them. Alright. Balls. Come on. Oh, well that works too. Oh, no. Go away. Go away, health capsule. Thank you. Alright, all Val has to do is just shoot. Shoot, please Val. Please, just shoot. Thank you, Vile. Because Vile can still kill you if you're, if you're low enough, because one hit from the, uh, Mechanical or one hit from the mech is uh, three bars of damage, so yeah, he could have killed me. And 
and Zero comes to save the day. This is, uh, you know, Zero before the uh, green boobs there. Oh, don't worry, you'll see Vile pretty soon in, you know, the next two games. So, yeah. Nope, that's intro stage done, so let's go ahead and move on. I'm gonna save in the second slot, because I already had the first slot done, because, like I said, that was my test play. So we'll go ahead and get the party started with Chill Penguin here, of course, because that's who everybody always fights with. Because he's the most piss easy, you know, Maverick of the, you know, series, for the most part. Well, at least for X1's sake. Besides, you always come here to get the dash boots first. I mean, I, I've not seen any. Oh, damn it. I've not seen anybody actually, you know, not go for the dash boots first. They're, they're too invaluable in the beginning of the game. Why? Because of the, uh, the dash glitch. Glitch. Thank you. I couldn't speak. I mean, it's late. Hard for me to speak sometimes. Yeah, but the dash glitch, because um, normally your your X Buster only deals uh, a point, of, just a point, a single point of damage. When you have the dash boost, the dash glitch actually does uh, two points of damage instead. Of course, dash boost would be nice and, and nice and valuable there, but of course that wasn't the case. All right, and Doctor Light Capsule number one. Right through it. Don't really care. Yeah, you hit them in the most assholeish spots ever. Well, not in X1, but in future X games. Oh yeah, as Ace Park would say, yeah, Darker Light is pretty much an asshole to to the nth degree. So anywho, continuing on. Hate those things. Come on, why are you coming? And I am playing this on the place. Oh, bugger! PlayStation. So. Bye. <laughs> I love when I do that. Now comes the annoying snowball part. Up and over. Bye. Wait for it. Yeah, that's all I can. Oh, I never saw two coming like that, but okay. And chill penguin into a full into a full full, full bar fight. Awesome. Now your full charge, your full charge X Buster deals with I think four bars of damage. Don't remember offhand. Oh, it's only three. Damn. Dash, please. Dash, please. Hate you so much. Watch your payment. Thank you. Yeah, not standing. Nope. Do something stupid like that, thank you. Oh! And as you saw, I just did, uh, with that dash attack, that dash attack, it actually dealt, um, two bars of damage there. As I experienced it, oh, I'm sorry, three bars of damage to him, so this should get, nope, there's two. Bye, oh, oh, bye. And the epic back turn kill, for the win. So, chill penguin? Not very hard.
Perfect victory. Number one. That won't last. Of course, with the X collection, the timing's a little bit off for the uh, victory fanfare, so... So we get Shotgun Ice. Now, unfortunately, we have to come back to Chill Penguin stage to get the Heart Tank because uh, you need to have Flame Mammoth's weapon in order to do it, so... Now, technically, for boss order's sake, you would actually go to Spark Mandrel next, but I'm gonna go to Flame Mammoth anyways because I want to try and get the arm, uh, the arm upgrade. I don't think I'll be able to do it unless I'm extremely lucky. And when you beat when you beat Chill Penguin, um, you actually freeze the workshop. Otherwise, this would be lava down here. Dash completely through this here. Now, just to give you guys a heads up, right up here, right above where I'm at, is the Buster upgrade. If you don't get it, you can get it when you uh, when Zero dies. Ah, I had it. This can take a little bit of time. You have to have pretty much precision jumping, and even when you have precision jumping, it doesn't like to work. Oh, damn it! I had it. If I can get the Buster upgrade, I can pretty much cheat the system, but or cheat the game, but nonetheless. There's also an E-Tank here, which I, or not an E-Tank, but uh, no, I'm right, E-Tank. Come on. Uh, I'd rather try and get this as early as possible, please. Eh, you know what, just, I'll get it, I'll get it after I do Storm Eagle stage. Might just do it off screen, but nonetheless. Alright, that's the heart tank down there for Flame Out of Stage. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh! You really want pickaxes? You can die. Saw that coming. Okay, you're not even hitting me. Quit it. Okay, that's, that's, that's getting annoying now. Stop it. There's a mess up here. Come on. Damn it. Hate Mets. Damn it. Really hate Mets. Got you. There's another Met here. Got you. Get an extra life, and there's your E-Tank. Come on, jump down, thank you. Alright, we got that. Let's go ahead and head back down. And yes, yeah, since, since this is the X collection, uh, they didn't decide, they actually, Capcom decided not to loop the music, or... Now that I just keep the music keep playing, they just actually just start the songs all over again. Now, Flame Mammoth is a little bit harder for me without actually having uh, the Boomerang Cutter or the Storm Tornado. Which, the Storm Tornado is actually his weakness, but, oh, damn it. Gotcha. What happens with the boomerang cutter, though, is it's a little trick. You can actually cut off his nose. Because um, without 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 uh, flame out his nose, he can't shoot flames at your face. He can't shoot flames at you, and he can't lob oil, which becomes a major major disadvantage for you. But here we are, flame mammoth. I don't care if I lose to him, so. The trick is with play Mammoth is to not stay on the ground when he does that because it hurts. Oh yeah, also when he has his horn, uh, when he still has his trunk, he can actually trump it as well. Oh Jesus! Do not let Flame Mammoth fly with you. It hurts like a bitch. Uh, 
this is being very easier than I thought, and there he is. Don't get caught in the oil either because it actually makes things worse for you as well. Oh, damn it. Come on, play Mammoth. Knew that. Goodbye, that shot. <laughs> See, I'm not as risky as Ace Spark is with the dash shot. Um, I, t I tend to use it in situations where it's like, I have an open shot, I'll take it. If I have enough room to dash, I'll dash and do it. But nonetheless, Flame Mammoth down. That's two out. So we get the uh, Flame Wave. And with that one taken care of, let's go ahead and return back in and... Let's go ahead and head to uh, Storm Eagle because I don't need Storm Eagle's weakness to beat him either. He's Storm Eagle's piss easy. As long as you have the dash boots, you can beat him, no problem. You just have to avoid a few different things. Heart Tank is right up there. I'll get to it. I'll show you how to get to it here in just a second. Now this was when I was growing up. That heart, the heart tank in this stage was the one I always missed. So whenever I tried to do the Hadouken trick, it never worked because I always always missed that heart tank. So when you reach the top here, you want to do a dash jump, and there you go. Now I love X. I love the X. Uh, the X series uh, music. It was very. It's just nostalgic. It's just a really great, a really great o o OST you know, soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. All right, and then you ride one of these up here to get to E tank number two. I love doing that. Well, of course, who doesn't? They can just go ahead and uh, drop down here. Alright, uh, just one second guys, I gotta go ahead and let my dog in here, just a brief moment. Alright, my apologies guys, just a dog decided to wake up and come bother me some more, so, um, go ahead and get back into the game here. And that's what happens when you, you know, you live with your parents and, you know, your dog is up at any given time of the night. Normally she lays down and sleeps, but she seems to be up and energetic right now. Ooh, you want to be careful with single jumps. You, you want to actually use a dash jump on, on these platforms because you, know, you can still make a slight miscalculation and fall to the pit below. And of course, that's not very good at all. Down here is a one-up. This is a one-up. I really don't need it right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now my dog exiting the room. Sorry for the pause there, folks. Uh, let me go ahead and continue on again. Alright, so you go ahead and go down here. Use your... Come on, controller. I said jump, please. Thank you. So dash here, and then just... You can use the flame, uh, flame wave to destroy that. You can shoot it. It takes about 20 to 30 shots to destroy. And here is the head capsule for Dr. Light. Probably still one of the more useless uh, parts there. But then again, it's a head crushing ability, which does help for getting the buster parts. Yeah, leave one just because. Another one up. I met. I met. We did. I hate when mets do that. Oh, these things. Ah, oh, can't get a can't get a high jump off of that thing. Life will be nice. Nope. Okay, fine. All 
Alright, we're almost to uh, Storm Eagle here. Now there's another little trick here. If you're low, running low on health or weapon energy, just drop down right here. It's a large weapon capsule and an energy capsule. And now we reach Storm Eagle. Here's where the dash trick actually comes in very handy here. He's already gonna go into diving already. Alright, I can do that. Mm. Damn. Come on, Storm Eagle. Come on, Storm Eagle. Thank you for being on that side. Oh, uh, Storm Eagle really. Uh, I'm going to shoot you in the face, just because I can. So down goes Storm Eagle, simple and easy, no problem. Three down, perfect victory, number two. <laughs> Storm Tornado. Let's go ahead and save up that. So we have two armor pieces, three pieces, and two har uh, two tanks. So let's go ahead and move on to back to flame mammoth here. Now that I have the head piece, now that I have the head piece, this should be cinch. So if you guys give me a brief moment, I'll go ahead and get you. Uh, go ahead and get over to that spot there, and I'll meet you there. All right, guys, we're here. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Oh god! And if you do that, you fail. So, gotta use the escape unit and just go ahead and get out of there. So, just skip that and return back in and give it another go. Alright, so let me go ahead and get back over there again, guys. I do apologize, but let's, uh, I'll meet you there again. Alright, guys, I'm back here and let's go ahead and do this. Come on, I can do this, I know I can. Come on. I'm on it. Got it. And yeah, welcome to Broken Game. This capsule contains the part that will increase your axe buster capabilities. You can fire all types of different weapons. And my friends, we now have the buster upgrade, which means we can use the, uh, the super powered abilities of all the other uh, weapons. So. There's a super power charge there, and let me go ahead and show you each of the other abilities. This is the flame wave normally. And when you have a super charge, it becomes an actual flame wave. Storm Tornado, that's that normally. And then super charge, you get this. Shotgun Ice. You supercharge it, and I'm actually going to have to explain show this one down here. Creates a thing of a chill penguin right. And you slide on it. So that's all the abilities I have so far, but I'll show you the rest when we get to it there. So let's go ahead and escape. Now at the buster parts, this is good. So let's go ahead and uh, save up. And now we'll move back into boss order. So let me go ahead and tell you actually the, bo the boss weaknesses here. Chill Penguin is weak to Flame Mammoth. Flame Mammoth is weak to uh, Flame Mammoth is weak to either Boomer Coanger. Uh, to remove his tusk or remove his uh, snout. There we go. But his actual weakness is Storm Eagle. Um, Boomer Coanger is actually weak to launch Octopus with the uh, the homing torpedo. Stink Chameleon is actually weak to Boomer Coanger and the the boomerang. Spark Mandrill, which is where I'm going next, is weak to Chill Penguin, which I'll show you that weakness, which makes him piss easy. Uh, Storm Eagle is actually weak to chameleon, the uh, Steam Chameleon, which is the Chameleon Sting. Uh, Armored Armadillo is actually weak to uh, Spark Mandrill, the Lightning. Um, and Launch Octopus is actually also another double weakness there. Uh, he's weak to Boomer Quanger's uh, Boomerang Cutter to cut off his tentacles so he can't use the, the homing torpedoes. He can only actually, and he can't absorb your HP. Um, 
or absorb your life. I'm so used to saying HP because I do RPGs a lot. But, um... Armored Armadillo... Uh, Armored Armadillo's rolling shield is his weakness. And that's basically it. So let's go ahead and go to... here. Now that I defeated Storm Eagle, though, um, there's another stipulation with the stage. As you can see, Storm Eagle's ship crashed in, in this area. So what's gonna happen is you're going to lose power you're gonna lose power here momentarily. Now over here is an uh, is an E tank. You have to you have to have boomer uh, boomer coinger's uh, boomerang there to actually get it. Now normally the light would actually be on in this area, but unfortunately it's not. Through here and make it a little bit safer. Oh, saw that coming. That. And since there's also no electricity in this area, he can't charge him. He can't. Uh, this bot, this uh, sub boss can't actually charge. All he can do is just try and hit you. Don't let him hit you though, because it still hurts, as you just see. Also, you can still get caught in the bubbles, which, you know, still hurts. Yeah, sorry, no, uh, lightning figure there, buddy. Storm Tornado makes easy work of this, bo of this mini boss here, so you just blast right through him and continue on. Easy with that one. Come on down. Thank you. All right. Still going. All right, right up. Uh, we're coming up on a heart tank here in just a moment. So the easy way to do this is just dash. You can actually just dash around and get it just like so. Do a dash jump off the wall, and you should be able to grab it with, with pretty much ease. All right, got down, got him. To kill these turtles, the turtles are very simple to kill. You storm tornado, one storm tornado gets rid of them. This is just uh, this is the next. Area. Oh, it's this part again. Yep. Ow. There's gonna be another one of those little things coming right now. Right here, right there. Damn it! Ugh, full charge. Thank you. All right, so get sucker nice, ready for Spark Mandrel, and I'll show you how piss easy he is. Against Spark Mandrel, don't use the full, uh, don't use the the ice sled. It's it's a waste of energy. An easy way to beat Spark Mandrel is use the uh, shoot off the wall. Uh, shoot off the wall, so it doesn't give him any. It doesn't actually give him any ability to do anything. Ooh, that was close. I almost got hit there. Ah, damn it! I almost had a flawless, but not perfect. I should have dash jumped off the wall. Oh well. That's four down. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go four and four here, so um, we get the electric spark. And we'll go ahead and save up here. Alright, so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna go like I said, I'm gonna go four and four here so I don't take up a lot of a uh, lot of your time watching Mega Man, me play Mega Man X here. So with that, um, when we come back we'll take on the other four um, Mavericks. So until then guys, peace out. Later.